and today I'm going to attempt to teach you how to make a one piece jumpsuit, hopefully, maybe. The thing is, I've actually never successfully made anything, and trust me, I've tried. I've tried to make a bandana unsuccessfully, a skirt, a pair of shorts, which ended up falling apart while I was wearing them in public, so I don't actually know why I'm teaching you, but we're gonna, we're gonna try. We are going to try. We're also going to use these overall shorts as kind of an outline for the legs because I grossly underestimate how big my legs are. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is try to figure out how in the world to position this. I wish you could see this setup because it's very poor. This is gonna have to do because um, I don't know how else to set this up. I know this is a lovely angle and it's also crooked. I'm just gonna leave it because it's gonna fall down if I keep touching it. The first thing I'm going to do is measure the top part. So we're going to make, what shape is that? A trapezoid, you know, like the normal overall type shape. You're gonna decide how wide you want the jumper. You also want to measure for seam allowance, and I usually do like an inch. So, does that look good? I'm gonna do 10 inches because we can always take it in more. For the top, I'm going to do it back to back because it looks nicer and then you don't have to hem. So we're going to fold it in half with the good side of the fabric facing up. I also have this uh, fabric marker, or you can use chalk, or you can use maybe a pencil. And I'm going to do 10 inches on the top where I folded it. I'm going to then measure from that corner down, straight down to where it will end. This is just the worst setup. There, I'll just squat. I'm gonna do a couple inches above my belly button. So that is about 10 inches as well. And then from there, I'm going to measure from that 10 inch mark till under my armpit. That will be about six inches. So now I'm going to draw those lines in. So we have 10 inches across, 10 inches down, and six inches over. And the reason that I am measuring from the corner all the way down is because I want to make sure that I do this part across in the right, at the right angle. If that makes sense, just, just trust me. And then six inches over. Now we have a triangle part where we can just connect it to make the correct angle from the corner down to under our armpit. Honestly, I'm kind of just guessing, so I hope that this actually works. I'm going to connect the dots of my triangle. Oh my gosh, it's literally a perfect 12 inches. On the bottom, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave like a couple of inches of just straight fabric, just in case I need it. This is the worst directions ever. Can you hear my husband saying, dude, what? I'm going to try to hold this up so that you can actually see. Nope, that's not going to work. I'm going to cut it out and then you can see. too far in but you know it's better to have more fabric than less looks pretty good to me <sighs> i don't think that made sense so obviously it's a new day and i'm refused to move the camera angle because i just got it set up this is where we left off right with the trapezoid and i have actually changed plans we are no longer making a one-piece jumpsuit we are making a two-piece set which you already know because of the title we're gonna sew this guy, and then we're gonna 
cut out the shorts and then I'll show you how we're gonna tie it to us. That sounded weird. Starting with this, we're going to flip it inside out. And then we're gonna sew along each side and the two inch part. Do not sew the bottom, okay? No, no, no. No sewing the bottom. Sides, two inch, no bottom. Got it? Now for the shorts. Hopefully you have a pair of loose shorts or pants because I'm not going to tell you the measurements because that's too hard. So use your pants as a guideline. Gonna fold the fabric in half. We're gonna lay the pants out and then we're gonna trace it. I'll show you now. Okay, while you are tracing this, don't forget to take into account a seam allowance. I'm gonna put my ruler here and I'm going to actually draw around the ruler. together. 